Hello and welcome back to the Touring Car Challenge. We're here at Oren Park today, the South Configuration. Do enjoy this track. Been here a couple times in the Mazdas and uh, other cars I'm actually kind of decent at. <laughs> um, we'll see what we can do here. Um, my times weren't too bad, but again, uh, well, they weren't so bad last time either, and I was still off pace, so. But uh, I kind of realized, you know, I'm being thrown into top split in a car in a type of driving that I've never really done before. And I checked my average lap times, and if I were even like in second split or lower, I would be getting top fives. So, uh, I'm thinking I got the. I should be a little less harsh on myself. Given that I am racing against the highest rated guys and something I'm not familiar with, so. Um, maybe a little less down on myself, but I'm still, uh, of course, trying to improve. Be better and not do whatever's happening right here. I don't know, man. I just don't have a feel for this car, but, uh, it's alright. Hopefully it'll still be a good race. I know Nick said that, uh, he had troubles. He got taken out both attempts he tried this, uh, this week. First in the very first turn, and then next, like, in turn four or something. Which is a little scary. I don't want that to happen to me. One more lap. Um, we'll have to be careful. P6, your lap time was 44.94. It always feels like you're coming in here just to find speed, and then you end up going too far like I did last lap. So this time we kind of got it a little bit better. Part of my problem is I'm just so inconsistent in this car right now. That's hurting me. Hopefully I can keep it on the track at least. <laughs> Easier said than done, but... Alright, that's halfway decent. I can feel pretty good about that lap. What we got? 44.6. Hey, that's third. That's not too bad. I don't know if I can consistently do that lap. I don't feel too bad about that. Alright. Am I actually going to be halfway competitive in a touring car race? Let me not get ahead of myself, but be nice to actually be competitive to a certain degree and not just riding around to the back. That'd be great. So much for not being uh, able to do that consistently. That lap was even better. Alright. Maybe the practice is paying off. Did a decent bit of practice uh, beforehand here. I always do, but... Oh, oh no. There we go, overdrive in turn one. It's so it's so hard for me to tell if I'm overdriving it, to be honest. So like sometimes it feels like I'm heading in there just right, and then next time it'll feel just the same, and then all of a sudden I'm overdriving the center. I don't know. Just don't have that feel for the car yet, I guess. I gotta be patient. And uh, on the throttle, for sure, in these cars. Let it uh, get around the corner before you start smashing on the throttle. Probably shouldn't smash on the throttle at all, but... <laughs> you know. You know what I'm trying to say. Before you get back on it, let it uh, make its way through the corner. Maybe we'll be alright this race. Just maybe. But we'll see. We're supposed to finish fourth. Probably not gonna happen. Not in a touring car, so. How many cars we got in here? I might just be looking for a top ten, honestly. As long as there's not ten cars. But like thirteen with people uh signed up or whatever. Or uh, people that have qualified. Oof. Yeah, they're a little hard there. I'm just going to jump out. Looks like the session might be trying to jump along. We've got the number 10 we're waiting on. Who's not done any laps? Or maybe he has one? No. 
not done anything. We're just waiting on him. Just the one person. They uh, presumably That's the end of the session. had problems. B6. Oh, yeah, here we go. There we go. So, where'd we end up? I ended up six. That's so much better than I have been doing here. We're half second off the leader, which is a lot, but not nearly as far off as I have been. Oh, man, if I can just at least be somewhat consistent, maybe I'll be okay. Still not very good at uh, these starts. Not sure how guys get the crazy jumps they get. So hopefully won't get run over here, but... Go there, maybe? No, I think you wanna... I still gotta practice this more. I have been, but I just can't quite figure out... the jump. It's a little hard to be able to practice it, too, because you don't know if you did it right, because you don't have other cars around you to compare. Kind of difficult. Alright. Let's not be the annoying guy revving my engine on the... <laughs> on the grid. Revving my, uh... idiot horn. <laughs> I'm actually trying to do something, though. I'm trying to watch the, uh... my RPMs and kind of judge how hard I should be going on the start. So there was a reason behind it. I wasn't just being obnoxious. But let me stop, because to everyone else it probably is obnoxious. All around me. What? Seems like it should be a good race, I hope. Hopefully you guys don't uh, murder each other. Or me. Hopefully I don't murder them. You know. Oh, uh, Don't end up with the bad luck that Nick had. I, uh... I don't know exactly what happened, because I wasn't in the Wednesday time slot race, obviously, and he decided not to upload them, because I guess he didn't make a single lap either time, so there's not much to watch, but didn't sound very fun getting taken out on the first lap twice in a row. Ooh, the wait, no, man. Alright, here we go. Fahrenheit. That was about time. 78 Fahrenheit. Get ready. Green flag, green flag. 15 minutes left. Okay, that wasn't that bad. That's okay, way too slow. I don't like doing this, but. Okay, way right up. Side, you're on the left. Three wide. Right side, two wide. Clear on the right. You know, I was much too uh, aggressive there. Clear. I'm gonna admit that. I thought I was gonna clear the guy, and then he uh, kinda equaled our speed. I was the idiot going, uh. Like, what are we doing? I'm so slow through here. Um, I was the idiot taking it three wide at the start. So you know what? I was the bad guy this time. I'm sorry. Didn't take anyone out at least, but that was not, uh, not what you want to do. Right side. Got the run on this guy off the corner. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Right side. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Okay, Colton. The next car is gone. Stay on the left. Clear on the right. Oh, it went off. Left side. Track limits. Watch those lines. Stay on the right. Clear on the left. Oh, I'm a menace this race. Left side. Keep to the right. At least I've only hurt myself. Keep to the right. The leader's just done it. It's for the best that I'm normally not fast in these. I'm saving everyone else for myself. Eighth place. Keep to the right. Clear on the left. Left side. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Clear on the left. We just had a warning for cutting the track. Just had a warning for cutting the track. Yeah, I saved so much time doing that. Uh, I'm kind of a mess. <laughs> I'm getting enough practice actually racing side by side with people here, I guess. I can look kind of slow down a little bit. Okay. I might have overdriven it too. Don't dive it in. I know he's looking. Don't dive it in. You don't do that. You're not. Clear on the left. Now I gotta Clear overdrive it to not be hit by you. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. I ain't allowed, man. 
Oh, cold turn. Come on, mate, defend your position. Just gonna fall back, I guess. Oh, boy. I'm just gonna try for the top ten, I guess. Not good, but it's better than what I normally do. Last lap time was at 44.30. Car ride, clear. Got a little loose there. Use all the track, force them to find the gap. I like slow up for this guy and it's making me go slower than I already am. I don't know how to pass people without diving in like they do and I don't want to be that way. Except I did it already kind of earlier. But Coming up on me from behind and then a guy slow in front of me like I'm getting squished in between them. I haven't made any horrible mistakes yet. Hmm. I will remember, though, that this guy chose to dive bomb me. i have to pull that one out of my pocket, I will. race that way, but he's decided that's the game he wants to play, so. Might have to, in order to get by him again. Right side. Heads up, there's a car exit in the pits. To the left. Hey, why is he pinching me? Still there, hold your line. You've just done a 43.73. That's your fastest Clear. Line. Sector 2 is 0.5 uh. off the pace. Noxious, man. Clearly faster, but he's going to slow us both down by fighting it so hard. I'm all over his bumper. Straight up have to outbreak him in this corner or something. Clear on the right. Oh, we passed him cleanly without dive bombing. Stewards have warned us about track limits. Keep oh, it oh, God, though, please can we get away from him? I do not want to deal with him again. Ready to go! He crashed? He just off himself after he realized that someone as slow as me passed him? What the heck? Okay. That's weird. It wasn't my fault. I passed him clean. I didn't even die bomb him. I didn't even have to use that ugly little ticket in my pocket. Blew his mind, maybe. The idea of passing someone without dive bombing. I can get on him as far as I know. He didn't even mean to, though. I'd probably break too early. I really have no nowhere to talk. And how bad I am this series, I shouldn't be telling people. How to race that guy. Man. Hey, free spot, maybe. Why are you coming on the track? Onto the apex. You're the number one car. You should know better than that. Clear on the left. Get up the track, oh, it, sounds, it looks like maybe the 11 killed the dude. Got plenty of fuel. Sector 3 is 0.7 off the left side. You got it, play car on the right. Clear on the left. 
I'm not going to get in front of this man, because he is clearly angry and fast. Sounds like a dangerous combination to be in front of. It'll show us how it's done. What happened there? This helped to be able to watch someone that I know is fast. I think we're getting some draft. Okay. And this is what I need to get faster in these things. Have a have a uh, pilot, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, show me my way around. Just want to show me the pace. Interesting. Ninth is so much better than I've been doing. I hope I can keep it on track and finish this off, even though I raced kind of ugly, to be honest. But uh, nothing too bad. I don't think I've hurt anyone other than myself, so I'm okay with that. If that's uh, how it ends up going. even get some uh, more free spots here if uh, guys have more trouble. We could really even get uh, closer to the where I'm supposedly supposed to finish. Okay, Colton. I don't think that's... I don't even think I've got close in one of these races. Just hit each and every apex. So I'm to get the rhythm a little bit more. <laughs> so it was the guy that uh, we had that long battle with that crashed guy that's uh was up there near the lead if not in the lead. Let's see uh, he's getting out of the way. I guess he feels bad about it. Hmm. He held us up pretty long and pretty bad too, but he had the right to fight for it. I don't know what happened between this guy, but it sounds like maybe uh, some issues. Speaking of issues, there's some smoke up ahead. Looks like some guys got slowed. Not sure what happened. <laughs> got really close to that little uh, ditch down there. Probably got a little too close. It's Ten's hounding us. I'm hitting, uh, I feel like I'm hitting decent laps and he's keeping up with us pretty well, so. I might be in trouble if I start going back to my old ways of not being consistent. I almost went off the side there. I almost got my tires off in the grass. That would have been bad. I think the guy behind us might have done it, because he's off. <laughs> hounding us anymore. I wonder if he was watching me and, um, and like nearly followed me into the grass or you know did follow me but actually did get in the grass because of how close I got. Right so feeling a little more secure in my ninth place then. Yeah, time's pretty consistent. Oh, all right. It's got to be closing up here, right? Just a couple more laps, it looks like. 
get a lot of laps in when the laps are this short. The gap ahead is now Even though these are normally seconds. pretty uh, that was, uh, short races. Mm, we drove that a bit though. A little bit, but it looks like we're okay. And I'm proud of myself right now. Feels like I've uh, That's two minutes left. been able to be somewhat consistent, which I was having trouble with in practice, and all my troubles I've had in this car. I think this is better than I expected it would be. And we might even uh, catch up to this guy. Let's see about that. That last lap was a 43.83. This is probably the best I've felt in one of these cars yet, though. It feels pretty great. It feels nice to actually feel like I'm driving the car instead of just babying it around and being really slow. Kind of getting the lines down a little bit better. It's very nice. I'm having some fun instead of just being uh, molasses and dragging the anchor around the track. Just done a forty-three point six eight. Big part is being able to watch guys in front and kind of uh, match their pace a little bit. That has been a big help. Got a guy off position. Uh oh. Oh, we're running out of time though to make a pass. Oh, he's in the wall. It's gonna get interesting. These guys racing in front of us on the last lap. White flag, last lap. That was a forty-three point eight nine. Oh, a takeout. Car right, go left. Clear on the right. Car right, clear on the right. Whoa. Something, something interesting. Whoa! Okay. I think that counts as interesting. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> How about that? Don't mess up this final corner. And I finished much better than I expected. And probably should have. Oh my god! A decent finish! in a touring car race! Oh, I needed that in this series. It's not even that great. It's seventh, but like, it's not seventeenth, <laughs> which is what I'm usually doing. Yay! All right, and I felt like I had some decent pace. It wasn't just because guys are going off. I felt like I actually was kind of figuring it out. That's awesome. All right, let's get this camera ready for the incidents. I had a few moments I wasn't too proud of, like a uh, big way too aggressive on the start, but at least I didn't plow them over. I don't know, maybe it was worse than I remember, but... Um, yeah, interesting. I started sixth, lost one spot, but uh, very happy with that. That's awesome. Oh, no, no. I go back? Go back? Oh, there you talk about, but let's see what happened out there. Relax, my man. It wasn't Let me watch how bad my start was, aggressive-wise. See, it's just he's yeah, I know, but he's so can. off. Like, so I'm like, I'm, I'm thinking like I'll be able to clear him before I get there. And then that guy like slams on the brakes in front of me. I thought he was gonna get through the corner much faster because I figured he's got a better angle. So, and then he just doesn't. And that was not my line. fault that the and yellow guy ran into me. Well, he turns into right me. Like, 100%. Yeah, well, that's, that's not on me. I took it three wide, but he took it to my door. For no reason. I mean, I guess he's scared because it's three wide, but he's not even three wide at that point. Like, Alright, so I didn't do anything wrong there, I don't think. I can't just wait for him. I mean, think about it. Like, if I stay behind the guy... Alright, they're complaining too much. 
Um, if I stay behind this guy, like, people are going to be flying past us. And for the most part, I actually kind of did clear him, just about. I mean, he tries to fight it or something. I don't know what exactly he was going for there. He just drives right into me. I'm okay. I'm actually, you know what? I'm okay with how I went about that. So, uh, okay. For real, let's uh, start incidents proper. And so he runs into me, that's the first thing of the race. And then he gets wrecked. It's not on me. He was just not into gear at the start here. Ooh, huge dive bomb. Guy going way too fast through there. Looks like he broke his uh, car, too. The wheels got a little weird. Let's just blink out. Whoa, we're getting unsettled. Oh my god, this poor yellow car. Wrong place at the wrong time. They've had some bad luck and... Well, they kind of did some other things on their own, but... And it could have slowed down a little more, too. Seeing that guy out of control. Two guys going through that section at much different speeds. Blinking out. So this is the leader. Like, what are you doing, man? What is this 11 doing? I would be... I understand why he's yelling. What is this guy doing? This is the guy that was battling us. It's because he's got a broken car and is just sitting on the track. So what happened to him then? I don't know. Oh, okay. This is when that was hiding. That's me right there. I didn't even put that together. So we finally got past him. I'm proud of making a pass too, by the way. Like, I don't know if I how many times I've done that in this car yet. Probably not many. But I actually pulled it off after he was being very defensive. And I did it by uh, getting ahead of him here and I actually braked a lot later than I normally do. Yeah, he's still break later than me. I cut, I got clear on him, and I was able to make it through, and then he just gets taken out is what happened. Okay, I see. I mean, the 14 just runs him over. He's got to see that he enters this corner. The 11 hits enters the corner at the wrong angle, so of course he's not going to be as fast through there. You can't just run him over like that. Clearly it doesn't work out well for him. So that, uh, all that context makes sense, but I don't know. He, he's driving with a broken car on the driving line. I don't know what he's doing. Like, first of all, don't be in the driving line. You gotta know where the cars are gonna be. So if you're this slow, at least be on the, ins the inside right here, because you know guys are gonna be driving outward. And then when you realize you're in the wrong spot and it's too late like this, don't switch in front of them, be predictable, and hold your line. They're still going to be mad at you for being on the right racing line, but at least you don't do this, where you, like, cut in front of where he decides he has to go. So, that was just a couple of mistakes there by the 11, and then the leader of the race gets taken out, essentially. Oh, he has a lot of reasons to be mad about that. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I don't know what happened there. It's turned right into the wall. Yellow car. I'm not sure why we saw that. This guy's blinking. RMP4 is going to just uh, graze the wall there, it looks like. And there's this guy that was uh, pursuing us. How did we end up getting by him? I don't remember. Did he make another mistake earlier? Or No, he was just following us for a long time, catching up to us. That's what it was. He was faster than us. And he was catching up until he wasn't anymore because of uh, getting his right sides on the grass right there. And then Dunder Mifflin spins out. So I thought he might have uh, actually ended up catching us otherwise. So We got a little fortunate there. So these are the guys that were battling in front of us, and this is when the 13 got the wall pretty good. And here's where we're about to get a little present here. 
because this guy trying to get the nose on him and outbreak him just doesn't get the turn in. You can see he feels bad about it. He gives up the spot. Gives up a whole lot too much, I think. In the moment, he was very apologetic, I guess. Because you can see he stops and then turns right. Basically just stops his car. Ends up giving away a lot more time. Actually, it looks like he hurt himself much more than the 13. So 13 kind of like slides it. And then uh, gets back on track, so I pass him. It looks like that's the only spot that he lost. It was to me. Whereas the 8 lost a couple more. Interesting. So P2. Oh, this was after the race is over, I guess. Not sure why they did an extra lap. Do these guys know each other or something? Like, what's what's going on here? sure what's going on maybe they all decided to do one extra lap <laughs> i don't know but uh all right that's it for the incidents and i'm feeling pretty good about this it wasn't a fantastic finish or anything but it's a solid finish and that is so much better than i've been doing in these touring cars so i really needed this a little bit of confidence after just being so terribly slow in past weeks in this thing so um kind of was able to figure it out a little bit this week and uh, i think during the race i even like Kind of got it a little bit more under control, a little more consistent, and it really uh, was able to pay off for us, which was awesome. So I hope it was enjoyable to watch. It was a, a feel-good one for me. Um, man, everyone got incidents except for one guy, uh, and that was the last place guy, or the, or the highest number guy. We had, also had a nice finish. Um, so I guess I don't feel so bad about our 3x if it means we were better than the majority of the field, but <laughs> all right. Yeah, so 7th place finish, a good week for me, and I hope you enjoyed watching. I'll see you next time.